Well, when they come out, out of the stable, then before they're coming out to us, have a, have a drink of water, you know, before they start the day, because they won't get a, another chance until lunchtime. The first thing that we do, we put the, the bridging and the back band, which is all fastened together, although it's separate items, but we put that on in one go. Put that on the back of the horse. The next step is to put the collar on and then the hames on the collar. We then put our brasses on the front, the name plate and the martingale. And then basically you're connecting the bridging to the collar, you're harnessing it all together. And then the final job is to put the bridle on. We clean the harness, which we make it last for the two days. If it, we clean it the day before, and that usually takes two, you know, two of us the whole day to clean it. That's polishing the leather and the brass. Which is, although it may not look a lot, but when you have to clean it, clean it, you soon appreciate how many buckles and things there are on it. to connect the pole chain to the hames on each horse. That's the first thing to be done. Then the trace chains are attached to the splinter bar. And then the next step is to put the reins on. We've got a range of loads depending on how many pubs we're delivering to in one go. We can have one pub on the, one pub's load on at a time or up to four pubs load. For the extremes we go from half a ton to four tons depending on where we're going and what we're delivering. regulations and just the same as driving a, a car or a lorry you know we, we stick to the road signs the traffic lights and the, the directions you know one way but in actual fact the horses have right of way in all cases even at road junctions but we don't like to um, take advantage of it if we're at a junction and we've got to wait we'll wait but uh, usually people will let us will stop and let us out, you know, they're very courteous uh, drivers. When you're reversing the horses and dray, the arrangement of the horses, the steering as such, it's like uh, reversing an articulated lorry. But you've got the added disadvantage that as well as turning the horses to get the, the lock on the wheels, um, if one horse pushes back harder than the other, that will also turn you. It is fairly tricky in a sense, but it's not too bad as long as the horses do what you want, when you want. And that doesn't always, <laughs> that doesn't always happen. Quite a few of the um, landlords and landladies 
uh, like to feed the horses when we arrive. My own view is I'm against tidbits, but uh, carrots preferably. But, you know, apples is a concession, you know, and sweets and sugar, definitely not. The Baron of Beef has um, got a, it's not a cellar as such, it's not under the ground, it's more, they call it a cellar because it originally it was in the cellar. But this is just, um, well, it's a store, it's all on the same level. The bottles um, go into one room and the kegs go into another room, but it's all one level. And it's got a small, uh, like a loading bay would be, and we just bridge across from the dray to the loading bay and everything is rolled across. of uh, beer delivered in the course of a day with the horses is the same as uh, that delivered with a lorry. The only difference being that if you used a very uh, large lorry, you would, you would put the whole of the day's deliveries on in one go and do a circuit, whereas we would, as I said, make three or four journeys. But the actual amount of beer delivered is the same. The weather we like best is a nice, clear, cold day, crisp day, and that's the best day for this job. I think it's a unanimous decision with me and my mate that uh, wet weather is definitely, you know, uh, undesirable, especially with all the, the clobber on, you know, the waterproof gear. And sunny days are nice, but not too hot, because when you're hot, you're hot. But but when you know but when you're cold you can work harder and you're warm. Hogshead is the sort of traditional type of cellar that everyone expects from a pub where you um, have to let the kegs down into the cellar. Uh, this is done with a, a rope. The rope just hooks into the handle of the metal keg and it's lowered down. Um, then you've got the mate at the bottom. He then puts the keg wherever it's required, you know, stacks it away. When you're returning to the brewery, particularly before lunchtime or before finishing in the afternoon, the horses, they know that it's the journey immediately before going back to the stable for food. And um, so therefore the horses are that, that much keener to, to complete that bit of the journey than perhaps when you're going the opposite way or you're only going back to load up for another pub, you know, they, they they definitely know what time of day it is and when there's food involved. When we arrive back at the stable, uh, we, we carry out this procedure in reverse that we did first thing, uh, which is to take the harness off in the reverse order that we stated for putting it on. And the horse's legs are washed down. This is to remove the sweat. The sweat drains down their body and then all accumulates in all the feather on their legs, which would, if it was left to dry, would all become matted and it starts to itch and irritate. Then they'll have a drink and uh, into the stall then for a feed. 